Oh boy, here we go. So, we've known about this particular figure for a while, but the pre-order yesterday for the brand new Marvel Legends PS5 Spider-Man, which is a fan channel exclusive, dropped yesterday along with the uh, Franklin and Valeria Richards 2-pack which looks like a fine two-pack. It's just that that female body is outdated and needs better articulation in the arms and torso. Um, but besides the point of that, they did drop the pre-orders for that set and this one yesterday that you're seeing here. Again, PS5 Spider-Man. And oh boy, people are uh, not super happy, myself included. And... Yeah, I can see why, because this offering here is $35 plus. There is no way in hell you can convince me that this is a $35 package. This is in a standard box. Comes with just all of these web effects that you see here, which the web effects are cool. Uh, some of them got to go. We'll talk about that in a second. The figure itself is using the Renew Your Vows body. It's got the uh, updated shoulders and hips, pinless tech, as well as the toe hinge. Uh, does not have any additional accurate sculpted details compared to how it looks in the game. The colors look fine, I think, if I'm being honest. The colors do look pretty okay. Um, <laughs> what is this, man? <laughs> is this how we got... This is what we've gotten to, really? Oh boy, um, this is one of Hasbro's biggest L's in a while, and the reason why, some of you might not like this video, I totally understand, uh, I, this is dumb, this is horrible, this is an absolutely terrible pricing for this release, this is not, it, value is in the eye of the beholder, I totally understand that, if you find something you know, a certain value in one way compared to a different person, that's fine. I'm telling you right now, based on public perception, people who are going to get this I've spoken to that still think that this is overpriced, just in general, this is not worth $35. The price is absolutely insane. All they've done is taken the base body for the Renew Your Vows body, which is a fine body and has decent updates compared to the retro figure but they did not do enough they did not even do the bare minimum to make this figure worth what they are trying to charge you and on top of that this is a fan channel exclusive based on the different retailers they may you may not see a sale from one retailer compared to the other one best bet is maybe like trying to find this if there are any left in stock towards the end of the year because uh, this is coming out in the summer um, through GameStop. This GameStop is going to get this, um, and hopefully, if you could find it on clearance, that's like your best bet. But that is, there's no guarantee. So the you know the renew your valves body again is fine and it now has toe hinge, but it does. It's I still don't think it's good enough. I'm sorry, toe hinge is not good enough for thirty five dollars. Toe hinge is fine, but I just it's it's. It's really, at this point, to me, not an end-all, be-all for Spider-Man figures. So I'm being quite honest. Import Spider-Man figures, yes. Marvel Legends, quite honestly, could take it or leave it. I don't care enough at this point. Uh, I've already talked about the, the details to death, but it's... The paint looks fine. I don't think... The, I think the colors are just a little too bright, especially the blue on this figure. Even if they painted on some of the details that are in the actual texturing of the, of the suit based on the game... I would have been okay with it, even though it was painted on, of course. Sculpted on there, absolutely. And they could have absolutely done that. You can't give it to me otherwise. I'm about to make a comparison in a second, don't worry. You know, they do all of these MCU figures, and even the Miles figure from, like, tw the end of 2021, that Miles PS5 figure has a unique body with, you know, unique details to it, and different textures on there. They couldn't even do that for this figure. The big, the biggest cardinal sin, if you ask me, one whip hand, one open crawling hand, two fists, cool. No gripping hands for web effects, fine. One whip hand and one open hand. Some of you might be thinking, how is that a big deal? Dude, 
the, the motherfucker flips with both hands and crawls with both hands. <laughs> what? Oh, God, this is so frustrating. The reason why it's frustrating is I know these are wants, not needs. Some of you may not think that there's a big reason to complain about this. If you don't like it, don't buy it. That mentality is not working or improving Hasbro at all. And this figure proves it. Many of us voted with our wallets last year, maybe second half of last year, thinking back on it, where we a lot of us were <laughs> only buying Marvel Legends. Maybe not like the majority of collectors, but a decent number of Marvel Legends collectors were only buying Marvel Legends at the discounted prices around October through December. That's not entirely a good thing, guys. We should, if these figures at prices increase to 25 instead of 20 now, you should hope that the figures are good enough to be worth $25. Some of them, very much so. I've touted about how the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man is a $28 figure, pushing 30. I personally think that figure is worth 30. This, insane. No. Get rid of that web line. That is a fucking horrible web line. It's got to go, dude. You got to do what... You got to improve, Hasbro. I know they're not going to listen, especially... <laughs> if anyone tries to send this to anyone from Hasbro, one, they're, they're, no, no bother. They'll never watch it. I understand. It's just fine. Two, you know, they'll probably turn off as the cursing, which I do apologize. I warned you guys in the first place, but <laughs> I can't help it, man. I'm really frustrated. Ugh. The web line has to go. They have to do what imports is doing where you remove the wrist, put in the web line around the with the you know the wrist hole and all that. Insert it. But that's too hard for them to do. No, it isn't. A bunch of different companies do it all the time. They can do it. Stop making excuses for this company. That is all this has led to. These terrible prices, these figures that aren't worth the extreme prices that they're charging, all of these excuses that a decent amount of people have made has led to this. Stop making excuses for the billion dollar company that doesn't give a fuck about you. So, let's, uh, let's compare the pricing of this figure with some other figures in the past, shall we? Some of them a little bit more recent than others. For $35, pushing $37, depending on when you're going to get it, Big Bad Toy Store is a little bit more expensive. You can get this Spider-Man figure, which comes with all the accessories it has, you know, some of the different web effects that are like maybe like two cents to make each. Um, and then just the pair of fists and then the one thwip and the one uh, web crawling hand, no extra head or anything. Or for $35... You can buy a fully articulated, fully detailed, and decently painted, <laughs> understatement of decently painted, very well painted, Naruto figure here, brand new one, which comes with a bunch of different faces, a bunch of different hands, a Rasengan, it even comes with a Sage Mode face, tons of playability, buying multiples of these to make Shadow Clones at an affordable price. You could also buy one of these couple of uh dragon ball figures here which yes some of these don't come with that many accessories but for 45 bucks you get in my opinion one of the best figures of 2022 even though gohan's figures are locked off behind you know premium bandai the base figure itself it's is still worth 45 dollars i paid like 35 to 40 for, for mine 45 is definitely worth it. Vegeta and Goku haven't picked those up yet. Can't speak from experience, but from people who have them, they say that they're very good figures for that price. And I love the people who will probably argue, you're going to complain about these new Spider-Man figures. We get Spider-Man figures all the time, but what about when they make Gokus? Listen here. Yes, they do make a decent amount of Gokus. A little too much, honestly. These Gokus that they're charging lower prices for, especially this one here, fund better and more unique figures in this line. You can say the same thing about the Spider-Man figures if you want, except this is this one I'm talking about here that's just way too expensive and again doesn't do the bare minimum. But there is a, even there's a total reason why they're releasing Goku's, okay? 
I really don't want to hear the whole stop releasing Ar- Goku's argument because the amount of unique characters we're getting in the Dragon Ball line compared to how many Gokus would have, to me, is a fair amount. Sick of that argument. Okay, so let's look at GameStop. They're charging 35 bucks for the Spider-Man here, which I think is a better pricing. Uh, that's the standard price. It's not, you know, an extra couple of bucks for their profit that Big Bad Toy Store is doing. Not saying that Big Bad Toy Store doesn't have the right to do that. It's not that much that they're charging more. For $20, you get this McFarlane Toys Dark Knight's Metal Gladiator Batman, which I have voiced my frustrations on the McFarlane Toys line, or is their stuff, I should say, a decent number of times. However, this does look very good, and it is $20. Say what I will about McFarlane Toys, but they have at least kept, as long as they can, have kept this at 20 bucks. I hear they're going to price increase a little bit by like two or three bucks coming up towards the end of the year, maybe. Uh, I heard that from someone on Instagram. But still, 20 bucks for a base figure here, 25 bucks for a figure that comes with a gigantic Build-A-Figure piece and they have to change the entire size of the box for that. $40 for their Mega Figures. Usually a great deal for those figures, if I'm being quite honest. The biggest thing that McFarlane 20 to improve upon, of course, is thigh swivel and proportions. But, you know, and some of these characters, you know, these actual figures in the DC line, not the biggest fan of. But the other stuff from McFarlane Toys at 20 to 25 bucks, extremely solid. I cannot argue that. For $1 more on Big Bad Toy Store, you can get the TMNT Last Ronin figure here that comes with all of these different accessories, a different head, different hands, a bunch of different weapons and pieces of the weapons. All the stuff here for, again, a dollar more. Say what you will about NECA's quality. Sometimes I haven't experienced bad quality by them in a long time. I know it's different for some people. This figure, I could tell you right now, I'm not a big Turtles fan. This is a fantastic looking figure. I've seen it in person at my local Target. It looks phenomenal. And definitely worth close to 40 bucks that they're charging last but not least for 25 bucks which hopefully will be coming back out if it doesn't the pre-order doesn't get canceled in uh, march 25 bucks you're getting the miles morales spider-man figure eight different hands an unmasked head which doesn't look like the, the actor in the game unfortunately but still an unmasked head and still a build a figure piece with a unique body with unique sculpting for 25 bucks So it really doesn't make any sense to me. A lot of people are not happy with this pricing. uh, Pricing, excuse me. A lot of people are not happy with the effort that Hasbro has put into this uh, product. And that is not to say that the Marvel Legends team is entirely to blame here. We have to understand that the people working in the lower levels, design, marketing, all that, they may be just as much victims as some of us like to portray ourselves as because i'm sure that they understand you know from from what i've seen from dwight uh dan and ryan that they (laughs) they understand our grievances and i feel really bad that they are the mostly the people that get the brunt of it all when it should be the ceos and the big wigs that feel like they need to go drastic measures just because their profits are down by 40%. These are the same motherfuckers that are trying to put a battle pass in D&D. That's why I can't make excuses for this company anymore. If you like Hasbro's products, that's fine. I'm not here to tell you shouldn't like their products. Again, value is in the eye of the beholder. I've talked to people who said that, yes, this the pricing here is horrible, but I am mostly a Spider-Man collector, or I missed out on the previous one. This is my only chance to get a PS4 or PS5, you know, Peter Spider-Man. I totally understand that. Hasbro knows that, and they are taking advantage of you because of that. They are charging higher pricing, and again, not doing the bare minimum, because of people who unfortunately missed out because the previous release was a shit show. It was. You can't convince me otherwise. It was unclear how that figure was originally coming out. Pre-orders only, only to be in actual stores. Come back into stores a couple months later at these GameStops. It was a shit show. 
It was not great. Again, you're allowed to spend your money how you want. These are wants, not needs. At the end of the day, I'm going to wake up tomorrow, I hope. (laughs) We're all going to wake up tomorrow. The sun is going to shine again. Brand loyalty, you know, is important to some people. I totally get it. If you ask me for my opinion and my perspective, I believe a lot of you are being taken advantage of and you all deserve to spend your money how you want, but you also deserve better and you deserve quality that meets the price and you should demand better for the price that this is being charged. I've said this before in the past because, you know, there have been times where I'm like, man, Hasbro's been annoying me lately. I would still like to collect their stuff and all, you know, the same stuff with Marvel Legends and Black Series and all that. This is getting me closer to the edge of me just completely dropping the line. And it's not just this entire incident here. For the past few months since October with some of their Marvel Legends releases, I have felt nothing. Absolutely fuck all of any kind of excitement, maybe for Extremis Iron Man. But I really don't care that much, honestly. I haven't felt anything with some of these release uh, reveals, I should say, in a while. And I think uh, looking at my collection, I see a lot of characters that I've been wanting for years and I finally have them. I haven't felt that way in months. In like three to four months. So it's... It's, I think it's time for me to uh, pump the brakes on the line. There's probably a couple Marvel Legends that will come out this year that I do want, but I don't know yet. And again, I just haven't felt anything in a while. I highly doubt they can change my mind. But yeah, might be time for me to... Because uh... I can't support this. I can't do it, man. It's horrible. Pricing sucks. I have too much respect for myself. Not saying people who are getting this figure don't have self-respect. Me personally, I cannot in good conscience buy this figure because I know what they're doing underneath the seams. If that makes any sense. I don't even know if I said that right. Some of you aren't going to agree. Some of you are going to retaliate in the comments. I totally understand if you don't agree. Try to hear me out, okay? <laughs> I just don't think the pricing here is good at all. The effort is not here. And Hasbro, no matter how much you defend them, does not care about you. So while I don't like being negative, I've been pretty negative lately. I get it. I don't want to be negative. I would love nothing more than to fucking buy these figures with bliss and love every single one of them. But I just haven't felt that in a long time with this line. I'm trying to be as constructive as I can. Because I don't want to just be negative. But I cannot help it with how I feel about this current line. If you feel differently, that's fine. Just hopefully you are able to hear me out and understand my perspective. I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments. I, I Please try to keep it as respectful as possible. I will do the same if I respond to anyone. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.